nothing like dark salsa. You have to, because I've having dark salsa for like eight, nine years, you kind of have to forget that because the movement is just so different because you've got elements of this and that, you've got elements of tango, try tango and like tango, you've got elements of Latin music and stuff like that. So I suppose it has helped in a way, but when you first start you have to kind of forget the salsa hips and everything and, just, and that was the hardest thing, getting into that and just frustrating when you can't, when you, your body has to move in a totally different way. Yeah, and um, I found it a little bit difficult when I first started to get rid of the, the for the hip movement to change. Because I can move my hips when dancing salsa, you know. I'm not afraid of moving my hips at all. But it's the discipline and rigidity of it that you have to get used to. And I think I'm there now. And that's like what I tell my, my students and the people I teach that it's very rigid and mechanical when you start because you have to learn how to move in a different way. But then once you get that, then you have to put the soul into it. So it can't be, it's not you clomping around like an elephant. Doing the, you know, doing, you can't do the movements correctly and clomp around like an elephant. You have to feel it. It has to come from your feet right up to your head. Every movement has to flow through the body, not just from your feet to your hips. It's got to go from your feet to your hips, to your shoulders, everywhere. Because that's the kind of music it is. It's a whole body movement. I don't know, they, they, they both more or less come from the Caribbean anyway. And, you know, that's kind of the thing that, that gets me here. That, that kind of Caribbean feel. But then it's got the, the African rhythms in it, which, again, is part of the Cuban salsa scene. Yeah? So the, they've, they've both kind of grown up from the same origins, which you know, makes it easy for me to, to actually get into and feel rather than just um, like some people, they just, they, they, they learn the dance, but they don't dance to, to the music that much. They'll be dancing to a record, but they don't be feeling the record. And that's why I try and instill to people, you can't just dance it, you have to feel it. It's got to come into your ears, through your heart, down to your feet and back up. You can't bypass the heart because you have to, you have to love, 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 love the music and it has to be part of you. You have to feel the, the sense of it. You have to feel the history of it. But now it's just everywhere. Everybody wants to learn it. So you've got lessons going on, too many to be honest, because it gets to the point where you can't go anywhere without finding that there's a Ikizomba lesson or something like that. But it kind of desaturates it because it makes it weaker if everybody is, is exposed to it. Everybody can do it because not everybody can do it. Yeah? But everybody thinks they can. Tends, uh, as far as I know, there tends not to be that much cooperation. But because they're in, you know, they're in the... the they're a business. They're there to make money. They, they, they've got the following, they've got the friends and stuff like that. As I said, there are only so many nights a week. Friday nights, sometimes on a Friday night you've got two or three big things going. So that dilutes the crowds. People have their favourite places to go and they'll go there regardless of what else is on. Unless it's a really special thing, one-off thing, they're always going to go to their favourite place because they like this place or they like the DJ or their friends go there or whatever. But to a certain extent you can't do anything about it because, like I said, how many... Even if they did get together and say, right, we're going to do this then, that, 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 that. The other thing is, days of the week. The best days of the week are towards the end of the week. Two, three days of the week. If you don't kill it, if you don't um, count Sunday, so you can't really say that you're going to do something Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday because it's people aren't going to. People don't usually come out those days. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah, those are the best days. 
the people that are brought up with it have their own styles in you know, different countries and whatever different regions. So, and it kind of gets diluted over here, just so that we can handle it, <laughs> basically. You do get people, when well, I say people, so guys, <laughs> who because of because of the nature of the dance, take advantage of it, especially with the tarashing. So that happens everywhere. It happens in Salsa, happens in Kizomba. But they usually get weeded out anyways. And spotlighted, so it's human nature, isn't it? Unfortunately. But at least at least we don't all get labelled with that um, that same label. So there are it's a very small minority who take it take advantage of it. Just keep enjoy doing it. Keep enjoying the music, collecting the music because like I say, the music can it can calm you down, it can build you up, it can you know, it can cheer you up. Um, putting the music to the movement. They need more men dancers. There's always more women at places. So we need more men, more competent men to make the ladies give the ladies a good nap. So they're not all sitting around.